My hometown is from Sentupasa, Kuala Lumpur. And I'm from Selangor in Malaysia. And I live in Kota Damansara. I am from Penang. I have many Indian friends and I can count from one to five in Tamil. Wonder, Munder, Mood, Nar, Anji. I even can ask you what is your name? Mungapera I think one thing common that we have, all Malaysians, we like to say we are on the way, we like to text on the way to our friends, but actually we are not on the road. <laughs> the land of glorious food, full of laksa, curry mee, hokkien mee, chakwe teow, everything lah, all kinds of food lah. Jom, kita pergi mama. Amoy, aw pergi mana? Go stay, go stay, go stay. Oh! I love Malaysia Bahasa Pasar. It is a unique language. All races can understand. I love that our country, we have the privilege to worship Jesus. I think that is one thing I would really, really appreciate my country, that I can worship God freely. Mertika, Mertika, Mertika. Mertika to me means joy and freedom. Joy and freedom to love, to help, to encourage, to pray, and to inspire people, especially in this time of need. So I actually have a helper that comes to clean our home every weekend. So during this pandemic season, it's been really challenging for her family and they've been going through financial difficulties. Recently, I received a call from a non-believer mother of two young daughters. I don't know her. She was crying uncontrollably, asking for financial help. Last month, I was tested positive for COVID-19 and I was quarantined in a hotel and I was just telling God how I feel, how sad I am, you know, why I'm positive. I felt the Lord say to bless this family beyond even the financial and food help, I felt to really bless her children. I told her of my limitation to help her and say that I am a Christian. We Christians, when we have problems, we pray and ask Jesus Christ to help us and direct us. So I prayed for her and also connected to her to the community aid program to help her with some money for her living and I'm still following up with her. In our community, in our apartment building, he has brought together people of different walks of life, people of different race, people of different religion to come together to contribute money, to contribute time, effort, to prepare, cook, pack, and also distribute food to our security guards in our apartment building and also the B40 and the Orang Asli community in our area. And I heard this voice say to me so loud, George, will you rise up and preach the gospel? Will you rise up and impact this place that I've put you in? And at that moment itself, Holy Spirit just came into my heart and I had just this joy, this love just come over me. And even that day itself, I took up the phone to call the receptionist for something. But in the same time, I just spoke life over him. The Holy Spirit just gave me a word saying that he's purposeless, he's lost. And I released it to him and he was so surprised. And he wanted Jesus in his life. And as well, even talking to the hotel manager before I checked out, I was just telling her again, you know, she's broken and God is going to give her a new life. And she's, she was just tearing up in the counter and she wanted Jesus so much in her life. And I really thank God, guys, that this hotel, two souls, accepted Jesus. It was so amazing to see how God can turn something bad to good. So I asked a few friends uh, to join me in this and we pulled some money together. And I think what was really touching was when, I, we, when we gave the gifts to her, she actually told me that her children only watch other children on YouTube playing with such toys. They've never received such toys before. You know, we have church members in our apartment building and we have come together to have weekly watch parties where we watch Sunday service together when we are able to pray for one another as well. So in this journey, we have been in together in our ups and downs. This is my most fulfilling experience because I was able to show her that in Christ, there is hope when people are hopeless and helpless. There are so many needs out there in the community in this season. I thank God that I have availed myself to lend this helpless mom a listening ear. God took over the rest. All glory to Jesus. I believe Malaysia shall arise and be filled with joy, passion and love for Jesus.
Malaysia, you are a beautiful nation. Many will be attracted to you and resources will flow into you. And you will walk in God's destiny for you. Arise, shine, Malaysia, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. I want to speak blessings of God to Malaysia. Economy and family in Malaysia will be restored in Christ. Rakyat Malaysia will rise up, unite together as one for the betterment of Malaysia. What is impossible for us is possible for God. Sekaranglah masanya anak-anakmu bersatu Doalah bersama demi negara tercinta Malaysia, Malaysia Selamat Hari Merdeka!